Welcome back to another video. It's been some time, hasn't it? It's been some time since I've uploaded a video. So I thought I'm just going to upload a quick vid of um, a removal. And just how I do removal, really. I do removal the same for acrylics as I do for these. These are full cover tips. Um, just some old ones that I had. I'm just showing you that there's no lifting. There's all this growth, no lifting. Wow Bow products are amazing and the shine on those on the top coat was actually like pretty incredible as well so I just wanted to take you through my removal technique um, and as I said it will be exactly the same again I'm just showing you the growth underneath these are my daughter's hands by the way if anybody was interested so I'm using this bit from Wow Bow and I'll put the link in as well and I'm using the Wow Bow e-file because I love it I thought the, well, the um, e-file that I had before was really good and I was really reluctant to spend out on this e-file because it is, um, well, I say it's a lot of money, it's a lot of money for me because I'm proper cheap, but I couldn't believe it when I got it. I've got really severe carpal tunnel in both hands um, and I thought, oh, the other one was like hardly any vibration at all, but this one is amazing. You can't even tell it's on when it's on, it's mad and um, the little bit of on lockdown we did have on the clients that i used it on they were like wow that's that's really amazing really low vibration anyway i'm not plugging it i'm genuinely saying it's brilliant so i'm using the e-file to take off all this gel polish and if it was acrylic as well i would just take down most of the acrylic right down to my base layer and <clears throat> when i do acrylic i do a really really thin very thin um, wash of clear underneath the colours and that's to prevent any staining because the pigmentation of the acrylics can stain the net stain blah, 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 stain the nail plate as well um, so I would go right down to that never ever go down to the natural nail because you will um, damage it this bit is not for natural nails or anywhere near it as you can see I am taking the ends off as well because I'm about to soak them once I've file these down I'm going to soak them I'm only taking down the end of the enhancement and I'm leaving all of the natural nail intact again don't go down to the natural nail even if you've got all that growth and you can see there is a lot of growth I cut these right down because I said they're my daughters and she's got a really really deep natural C curve so if I leave any length on her nails when I put enhancements on, they separate underneath, um, away from the end. So I literally file them right down, as short as they'll go, and then I put the enhancement over the top. And as I said, these are full covers, um, just adhered on with um, base gel, wow bow base coat, basically. Um, but that's a whole nother thing altogether. So I'm taking all the top of it off and the very ends and then you've got what look like from here because I haven't zoomed in very well um, <clears throat> just natural nails but they're not so I'm taking these foil wraps and you can get these anywhere little bits of foil they've got like a little cotton pad just on one side and then they've got like this folded bit at the top so it's not sharp and then you're gonna need ten of these obviously one for each finger if there are any missing or anybody's pinged off only you only need nine or eight obviously i don't know why i'm telling you that so i've got my acetone in a pump bottle which i find loads easier it's less messy keeps it all loads better um, and this pump bottle is just for removal stuff usually i don't tend to use this one if i use acetone for anything else but i tend not to use it for anything else other than removal so you just pump onto that pad and then i just push that onto the nail tuck the back bit underneath wrap it round and then I fold that bit forward <clears throat> and I squish it so it's all really tight on the nail so basically what you want is to wrap that around so that you're creating a seal around the nail and pushing that pad full of acetone onto the enhancement that you want to remove because that will just do its job melting it away so I'm just going to speed through all ten because again <clears throat> there you go metal fingers um you can i usually if i'm soaking off like this 
I'll put them on the desk on a towel and then I'll put the towel over the top and warm in the acetone. So keeping it warm and by wrapping it in a towel or whatever will actually help the acetone work. So I grab a cuticle pusher and I usually use a fairly blunt one and literally gently scrape. It looks like I'm being really brutal when you watch it back, but genuinely I'm not being brutal at all. You don't want to be scraping the nail plate. You're literally just pushing off any melted off stuff. So um, I wouldn't generally have mentioned the full cover tips because I only put them on my kids, don't really offer it as a service. Um, but I noticed when I watched this back that when I was soaking them and scraping them off, it started to look all sticky and gross. And I thought, cue all of the comments about using um, MMA or whatever. So it's not MMA. It's not that kind of acrylic because we all know that that goes minging. Like this one looks sticky. Yep. It's just a full cover gel tip and it's adhered on with gel. So that's why it's all sticky and gross. Anyway, back to this. So what I tend to do is just scrape those loose bits all the way down to the free edge of the nail. Um, again, it looks like I'm being really brutal, but I'm really, really genuinely not. If it's not ready to come off, leave it, that's fine. And I'm just taking those excess bits. I'm taking the pad again, putting a bit more of the acetone on and I'm wrapping it and usually like if it's acrylic and you haven't filed it quite thin enough or you're not confident enough to file really thin and that's fine um, then just scrape and rewrap and by the time you get to the other end you can go back and scrape and rewrap again if you really need to if the pad gets soaked and covered in product then you'll just need to use a new pad or in those foil wraps you can just put a small piece of cotton pads like the face pads that you get like the little round ones you can cut those up into little chunks and um, pop one of them in if you need to so keep scraping oh look I've made a hole in my glove never mind um I've only really got gloves on in this video like I said it's on my daughter no lockdown broken here thank you before anybody decides to make that comment as well <sighs> as if we've got to make all these disclaimers on the videos but anyway you know what people are like um yeah i'm only wearing gloves because my hands and my nails are really manky and i don't like doing videos showing them off but i've told you all now so it doesn't really matter kind of cancelled that out didn't it never mind right back to the nails so gently 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 scraping and then i'm taking my cuticle pusher and i'm just releasing the um cuticle off the nail and taking off any non-living tissue any of that um crusty stuff that's what we're doing here not anything major and severe because we're just taking these enhancements off and we're gonna buff up the nail afterwards so we're back to lovely fresh nails um, and they could be left as they are or have some clear gel polish on there or like a um, when I do clear, I do all the prep and then I do a layer of base coat, take the tacky layer off and then I just put a layer of top coat over the top. I don't know if anybody else does it like that. That's how I do clear nails. Anyway, a little bit of useless trivia that nobody asked for. But this is a good time, I find, um, to do my cuticle work. So that's when I do it in my process. This is how I do it. This is, I'm not saying this is the right way. I'm just saying this is a way. This is my way. Do it how you like. I'm not your mum. Do A please. Right, so there we go. We are almost back to base. So I'm just going to use a little pad and my acetone again. This is a wax strip that I have just snipped up. It's a long one of them long waxing strips, and I find that they're really good. They're like better than the lint-free, alleged lint-free pads. Alleged. I'm doing air quotes, you can't even see that. So better than the lint-free pads because they really are lint lint-free um, and they're really good. And I just buy loads of wax strips from like um, beauty wholesalers and chop them up and put them in a little tub in my drawer. My removal drawer, it's got a label on that says removal and it's got all this stuff in it. Posh, huh? Organised, right? Anyway, organisation. So there we go. I'm just taking the last little bits off. Any last little remnants of gel that are stuck. 
on there just on the tip there I can see little bit tiny little bit little bit right so there we go almost back to basic looking good looking good a few of these like calcium little calcium marks that she's got they're little um they've got a name but I can't think for the life of me what the name is little them little white lines on her nails somebody put in the comments what they're called so basically what I'm just doing here is evening off the ends because where I filed right down for when she had the enhancements um, before I put them on to keep them nice and short they um, obviously they've grown but her nails grow really unevenly it's really bizarre you can file them totally flat and then put um, nails on or gel on or whatever and they grow and they grow really wonky it's really bizarre and I'm just filing the corners because she doesn't like them sharp so I'm just slightly rounding the corners off and as I said she's got really really super deep C curve natural deep C curve in her nails so if the corners are sharp they can sometimes grow in so I've grabbed this file and um, these are just really super cheap buffers basically really 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 soft buffers and I'm not I'm literally hardly putting any pressure on here at all I'm just taking off any tiny pieces that are left on the nail um, and ever so slightly buffing it um, these are literally like super super soft they're the buffers that you would use to just shine the nail plate up pretty much but the next the next grip from that that makes sense does that make sense to you because the really really shiny ones the squeaky ones it's not that and i use that on the ends as well just to get any rough little rough bits off because she's um very sensory this one um and doesn't like any like little rough edges so to de-dust I use the Wow Bow sanitizer spray and I spray it onto one of these um, hard bristle brushes and I just give it a little scrub her nail up and down um, hold it hold it fairly firmly up and down so you get right into that sort of cuticle area um, and then I go under the nail as well just to get any last bits of dust out clear off the nail plate and keep, once it dries and it does dry really quick because it's alcohol based so um once it dries you can get a good idea if you've got absolutely everything off if there's any bits you need to go back in and rebuff um but they look really good they look fine they look happy healthy her nails are super strong we do prep her nails to put nails on as you could see because there was absolutely no lifting and i think it was a about four weeks um which is really bad because we're stuck at home and i'm a nail tech and all my kids at home because i work from home <laughs> and i haven't done her nails in four weeks or infield or anything which is terrible i'm just showing you how strong her natural nails are they're ad absolutely ridiculous i wish mine were this strong i don't know where she gets them from definitely not me because my nails aren't like paper so yeah her nail, look at that stress on the on the nail and i'm trying to bend it there amazing amazing beautiful so i've gone ahead and i've done both and that's pretty much the end of the video i just wanted to show you the removal and i hope that answered any questions and i'll see you guys in the next one bye